equals to ct dot final controller ct equals to controller get application context cut size ct dot get cut dot get cut size string show if cut size is greater than zero for integer i equals to zero i less than cut size i plus plus string p name equals to ct dot get cut dot get products dot get name and so string so is equals to product name p name price p price descriptions p descriptions is this now right here else show equals to there is no item in shopping cart and show cart content dot set text is show and button 3 dot on click listener new on click listener if cart size greater than 0 import now intent i is equal to new intent get base context screen 3 dot class this screen 2 dot class now start activity i else toast dot make text context is get application context and text is shopping cart is empty duration is toast dot length long show now override on destroy method save it now I'm gonna browse to screen to dot java screen to extends activity source override implement method on create bundle saved instance state set content view r dot layout dot screen to now copy this code from screen one dot java and paste it here now text view show card content and find view by id at right dot show card and similarly controller get the controller and declare it then from screen one dot java copy this code screen to dot java if for integer i equals to 0 i less than card size i plus plus string p name equals to ct dot get card dot get products dot get product name integer price equals to ct dot get for card dot get product size dot get product price and string ct dot get card dot get product size dot get product descriptions dsc so is equals to product name p name price plus p price plus descriptions 
then show cut content dot set text show save it now la dot add view button one and and layout dot add view LA now button dot set on click listener new on click listener inside on click method write intent in is equals to new intent get base context screen to dot class and start activity I design and service after that you have to register the these two activity com dot tutorial dot card dot screen one and com dot tutorial dot card dot screen two in Android manifest file and inside the application write Android allow backup is true and Android name com dot tutorial dot cart dot controller now save it now run your project now like this output is look like this add to cart product item 3 add to cart product item 4 and 5 add to cart now check out now product item 1 price 16 product item 3, product item 4, product item 5. Now check out for payment here. Thank you. You have purchased this product. So that's all for today. We will meet again with new interesting Android tutorial. All the best. Stay tuned to Multi Android Zone. Like, comments, share please.